Welcome back to game 19 of the Boston Bruins Diamond Dynasty series. In this game, the Boston Bruins are hosting the San Diego Padres and Max Scherzer is getting the start. It's more than a century old, but still one of the best around as you get a great look at Fenway Park here in Boston. Today, a good one on tap here in the Diamond Dynasty League between the San Diego Padres and the Bruins. If you can put that change up below his knees, you won't come within a foot of it. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. This one away. Here's another 0-2. Oh, and he goes the other way with a fastball. He drives it out to deep right center field. And that is... Single so far. Runners leap from first and third. Here's the pitch. A line drive over the head of Cabrera and on into left center for a base hit. And that'll bring home another as they open it up to a 4 0 advantage now. That's hard hit back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And they'll add another as this is now a 5-0 game. And this one is past him, and that could be a run. And he will beat the tag at the plate. It's now a 6-0 ball game. get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot 0 for 3 thus far and now he has some trouble with it in left I don't know Steve is the comeback on well at the very least I like that they're showing some character out there you never want to go down without throw on to first and the ball game is over yeah and you know this home crowd is going to get to drive home happy as their guys come through with a very good win the Bruins clearly had no problems with the Padres in this game, taking the 6-1 victory, and Max Scherzer got the player of the game. There wasn't really a surprise there as he pitched eight strong innings. Workman came in to finish the game for him, and that was that. For the Padres, one run on six hits. No errors. They left five men on base. The winning pitcher is Max Scherzer. The loss goes to Eric Stoltz. Time of the ball game, three hours and nine minutes.